anti-bark mode. Your system comes with an anti-bark mode and you can switch this on and off. When you're using the anti-bark mode, the remote will not work. And when you're using the remote mode, the anti-bark mode will not work. Now, to select the level for the anti-bark mode so it knows which level of shock to emit, you need to make sure you're in the correct collar. This is one. And you can check this correct one with a vibrate. This is number one. And we need to select the shock level. So say we're going to do an anti-bark mode of shock level three. We need the test light. And then we test to make sure the shock works. And you should see it light up if the shock's being emitted correctly. There we go. Prongs need to be touching both sides. Okay. Now, to put it into anti-bark mode, you'll notice when it's in normal mode, that will light up as well when you press the number. When it's in normal mode, it will flash once every four to five seconds. When it's in anti-bark mode, it flashes twice every few seconds instead. So, to put it in anti-bark mode, you need to hold down the button until you see a red light and then let go. It's now in anti-bark mode. The remote will not work now. However, you will see it flicker twice each time to show that it's in anti-bark mode. So the remote will not do anything until you put it back into remote mode. Now to test that it works, you need to blow into it, the little hole here. It beeped, so now it's in anti-bark mode. This will be now be set off by your dog and you can read in the manual the various, um, the various gaps between when it will shock and when it will not shock and the warnings it will give your dog. Now to take it out of anti-bark mode, hold down for another couple of seconds until it, the red light shows and then let go. Okay, now it should be back into the normal remote mode. And the anti-bark mode will no longer work.